Leo, if you're not a Leo, stay and watch for your fifth house. Google what the fifth house in astrology is about so you can be informed by all the readings. I don't want to by any means undercut the gravity of the reading before this, which was the um, Cancerian reading. A huge crossing the finish line has been a long way coming. And the reason why that's related is because it's re it's related to, to you standing by your eight cups. Standing, having your own back, sticking to your guns, sticking, sticking to your ground, holding your ground. Not pouring out these eight cups because you know damn well that this karmic foe ten cup, eight of them bitches was free fr from you. <laughs> A lot of people who've been experiencing the false karmic twin flame journey, the last breakup, you know, where they pulled the rug out from under you all of a sudden, they show, showed their true karmic colors, know what I'm talking about. They try to paint this whole ten of cup narrative when eight and the motherfuckers were yours, right? And so Spirit's saying you stood by those eight cups that you brought to the table because you were a whole healthy healed person and were on the journey of that. Uh, D Max, you're hilarious. Check out my prices in the description box. Um, so, as a result of you now crossing this line, this finish line, these are going to be exalted, highlighted, and topped off with two cups. And that's what the, I believe, the Aries long form reading was about those two cups that came out earlier. Those two last and final cups. Six of Swords, the signaling of moving from those choppy, shaky, unsure. I got a lot riding on this. This is the the validation, the vindication, right? The night the camel has crossed the desert and has found the oasis, right? But the mirage would have existed so long as you didn't realize the kingdom was already in here. And that's what I think is so beautiful. We've asked for financial freedom. Spirit gave you the freedom first before the financial. And, and it gave you the, spirit, the, the freedom to choose God, to choose yourself, to choose your highest authority, your highest power. And you finally did that, so now you finally come out of this energetic desert, so to speak. So you go from desert to dessert. Ain't life a bitch. Funny ass bitch. <laughs> what a big ass forehead. We love her anyways. JK Rowling. Um, so yeah, so, so, so this is the vindication, the moving to the peaceful waters, the calmer waters, because you did the work. You held those eight cups in the midst, in the heat of battle, in the heat of fire, in the line of fire, all that stuff. And it was a solo journey, 333 in the clock, but you still had your own back. You held down the fort because you knew that it was based on truth and not this gaslighting propaganda machine bullshit. And so you got rid of the third party, you got rid of the Fairweather friends, and now you're pulling in the real Two of Cups, which is what the Three of Cups in the reverse is beat up as Three of Cups, with the corner missing is pointing to the Two of Cups in the upright. And that's your stability, that's your firm foundation, where you get to place your trophy case, the Eight of Cup in the upright. And you get the Ninth Cup because that was the part of the camel crossing the desert, where it was your own emotional back. You having your own emotional back. You picking yourself for the right reasons, not for the wrong, misled reasons. And so you know, now you get that trophy case, which is the four of pentacles here. Boom! What did I say? Two of cup. Your boy's good. I know what I'm talking about energetically. Boom! Eight of wands in the upright. That fun, sexy, flirtatious, intelligent energy. Also that energy of... I forgot what we called it earlier. We called it out on one of the one minute long readings of shorts. Um, but it's that kind of, um, what did we call it earlier? I, I, I forget. 
but it's definitely in line with everything that we're saying. Okay. The incoming communication coming in now. Okay, you being able to write the facts, the truth of the story. Right? The winners write the history, right? And that's what you're doing. Anything else here, spirit? <sighs> Boom. Ten of cup in the upper. What did I say? Your boy's good. I called it before it came out. Eight in the ten. That's the ten of hearts. Bingo, bango. The ten lives in the ten of pentacles. Ten of heart lives in the ten of pentacles. And you cultivated the ten of heart before the ten of pentacles. What did we say? We said that the physical has to follow the spiritual. As you cultivated the ten of heart, now you're being granted the ten of pentacles to house that ten of heart. Just like your spirit and your soul is housed by the temple, the physical. Your boy's fucking off the hook. Let's roll this on over. Peace.